And here we go. Action. Come on, gentlemen. You like some coffee? I got some free... Uh... Absolutely. So you're going to, I mean, if I go there tomorrow, I don't want her freaking out. You'll, you'll, by tomorrow. By yeah, I'll talk to her this evening. Okay, perfect. Oh, fantastic. So this is the district manager two days ago telling me I'm welcome back here. Okay, that, that's her saying I'm welcome back here. So I came back. I'm not sure. I can see the Who's the Her name's Susan Nixon? I'm not sure. Yeah. So I came back because she said I was welcome back. But they told you you're not no longer welcome here. But her their boss is on tape saying I am welcome back. So can you understand my confusion? Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't go by that. Okay. All they want to do the employee here wants to issue a current trespass notice. Okay. They say you're not, no, more welcome, no longer welcome here. Okay. So they're going to issue a current trespass notice. Okay. Right? And that's good for one year. Okay. So it's all out of the way. Nope, not taking any space. Well, you know, it's her starter rule. Well, Starbucks has rules that I can have it. She's so. saying you can't have it. You okay. Have so what happens next? You just gotta go. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'm not going. Huh? I'm not, not going. Leaving. Nope. Yeah. Absolutely. I would hate to have all this blow up. I know, right? We could be civil. Right? That's what I'm saying. I think that's why I tried saying to her just now. Yeah, it seems like you got too much stuff coming, and then you got this plug outlet. Yeah. It can um. Yeah. Uh -huh. She said you gotta go. You gotta go. I I asked. I would like to talk to her supervisor. I just know it's rules. No, I know, but we're gonna we're gonna pretend that this is real. That this isn't the FBI screwing with me now that I've come to Austin. Yeah, see the smile. You know. You know darn well, don't you? You can't tell me. I don't, I don't want you to get arrested. 20 years, you know what I did? You want to know what I did? I proved 9-11 was an inside job. 20 years ago, they raped my daughter at least six times. Federal agents have raped my daughter to try to do what you're trying to do right now, what she's trying to do, but I'm not gonna. I'm a peaceful man. The FBI is an evil organization. So but I'll, you have in your stuff that's gonna melt. Oh, I'll show you. You gonna see it? Sure. Sure, the painting. See that? Made entirely out of paint. And if I leave it out in the sun, like if it just was a baby, imagine she was telling me to put a baby carriage with a baby in it outside. Would you be taking her side or mine? That's different. Why is it different? Because that's a baby. So? That's this is my possessions. That is this is my baby. I made this child with my own hands. This one. No. Tie it up and because there's like 20 of them in here. I mean, I appreciate you coming up with op options. Your hair is fantastic. I like that, by the way. And I'm almost, almost out of juice, so I'm going to take all the electricity I can before Starbucks takes my constitutional rights away again for the 5,000th time. Anyway, you should check that. The videos on that at the bottom show the 20 years of FBI harassment that have led to us having this conversation today. And I know you're just doing your job, so that's why I'm being nice to you. I turned the other cheek so many times, I'm, I made a tornado once. I just came up with that one, that's good. Yeah, they're gonna hold off back up for a while. They, they think I'm gonna go, woo, 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 and go all crazy, but I'm not. I'm calm as can be. What's your name? Kia. Oh, Kia. 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 How do you spell it? K I Y A. That's cool. That's a good way to spell. Like that. My granddaughter's name is Isla Rain. And her skin looks just like yours. I tried to shut down a federal building in San Diego with 2,000 ladybugs. Stop bugging me! Thank you! Can you guys stop bugging me? Please! Now you have a thousand ladybugs in your lobby. What happens now? I don't know. You don't know?
Why did you dump all those bugs all over Bobby? Because I'm a big fan of metaphor. Just a little. Political protest, son. I seek a redress of my grievances. I want you to stop bugging me. Well, not you personally. I'm gonna set these bags down. I have no weapons. All right. There's like a a, a small dull right, knife. You have bugs, sir. I do have bugs all over. Because I was protesting the. Uh, but you cannot go into a federal building with bugs all over you, sir. And yet okay. I just did. It didn't work. But then I started doing a protest there every week, and they shut down the Starbucks Wi-Fi for two weeks, just for me. Like everyone else's Wi-Fi worked, but mine, and the, and the staff would tell me, sorry, the Wi-Fi is down, but everyone else's Wi-Fi worked. In the two weeks before they kicked me out, the Wi-Fi was down at that location, or at least that's the official yeah. story. For two weeks. Does that... Uh, that, that, I, that I think is correct. That was the one thing I knew about even prior to your complaint, because what happens is that when the Wi-Fi goes down, it's not good. It actually cripples all the registers, so it will work, but it almost like, it almost stops the drive here, quite honestly, so... Well, here's what I, here's what I don't understand about the Wi-Fi being down. At about nine days into it, I asked the store manager, what's going on? I, I mean, at that point, I could have gotten in a car, driven to Massachusetts, picked up a new router, come back and installed it. The store manager told me, this was nine days into the outage, that she was calling the, the techs every other day and they still hadn't come out to fix it. And they had only just that day done uh, uh, like a question and answer with her to try to troubleshoot it. Now, when I talked to, to Alyssa, the district manager on the phone, she told me that there were texts there on the premises every single day of the outage. Now, both of those things cannot be true. Yeah, no kidding. I'm from, so I, I'm going to look and validate this now. I can see if you're getting the, the take notes from the, from the uh, from IT department. Uh -huh. They're often and everything, you know, it's like when you fix one thing and it causes a problem down the road. So they ended up, it wasn't just a router issue. Uh, it had to be, when we put in, I think this is what happened, and I don't know 100%, but when we put in the new driver of balls and the new menu board and all that stuff, you can't move wire and you break your ground. So, well, cut it, whatever. So then over a period of time it went bad. So they were, they were root causing the wrong stuff. But, I fixed the router, fixed the wire in the store, put in a new register. I mean, there's like all these things that they did along the way. Uh, and it's typically come in after night. So, so one of the things is that I don't follow the command. They're like, how do you not know if the text there or not? Because they need paperwork and, and all that. So something. So, 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 you're, so now you're, te you're telling me that the, the store manager was unaware that texts were coming in after dark and trying to fix the, program, the, the problem? That, But the, um, for nine yeah. days, so, okay. Yeah. For, so for nine days, she doesn't know that there's texts coming in every day, and they're still unable to fix it. And it, it's well, also I don't know about I don't know about that or the you know, but I know the considerable amount of time. I, mean, I want something fixed within an hour, right? Well, and, you, you and think? Was well, you think? Well, it's it was weird because there didn't seem to be anyone else. I like I only during those two weeks I probably spent four days there. Because each time I'd go back, I'm like, by now it's fixed, and I get there and it's still not fixed. So I'd have to upload stuff on, uh, back when I had phone service, I could use my, my regular phone service. But it was interesting that people were set up with their computers. I, I'd sometimes sit there for like four hours. I didn't hear anyone complain. At one point, the uh, second or third day I was there, I went up to somebody and she was at the end of her shift. And I asked if the Wi-Fi was down again or still down, and she didn't even know it was down. So the point I'm getting at, Scott, is I don't think the Wi-Fi was down for everybody. I think it was just down for me for those two weeks, and I think that's why everyone's lying about what happened. So how would we turn it down for just you? Well, I, I'm guessing Homeland Security asked you to, because that's why everyone asks, is, asking, is acting so very strange about this. 
I mean, the baristas acted strange, like they didn't know. Now, you're telling me that if the Wi-Fi is out, they're having all kinds of haywire with the registers and everything. And, right. But, and yet, the, and yet, the Wi-Fi is out for three days, and the barista at the end of her shift didn't even know that it was out. The store manager is claiming that no one comes out. The district manager is claiming that somebody is out there every day. And you come up with this story of, well, you know, those texts just come way late at night and don't tell anyone. And it just sounds like bullshit to me, quite frankly. Crazy. Just like this. I'm just leaving you here. They're not coming to help you at all. What if I was, you know? That's... Well, I have other bad things around. Oh, okay. You know, I know. I believe me. Everywhere I've gone for 20 years, well, 16 years is when they escalated it. Because I, oh, here we go. It's not even a real cop. Or is it? Is that the cop uniform? Is it green? Fantastic. There it is. How are we doing today? Yeah, so she's from the party for she has to stand outside if he doesn't want to stand outside. Well, it'll melt. There's a reason. It's not that I didn't want to. So I, I just needed you to come here and to show that they called the police on me. I'm going to leave now peacefully. Okay? All right. Nice meeting you, Kia. So they're going to get your current trespass notice. Okay. Right, and that's good for one year. Okay. That means if you come back, you'll be arrested. Oh, cool. Cool. How's your jail? Is it air conditioned? Jail? Yeah, is it air conditioned? Or... Where would I go? I mean, you, you leave the premises. No, no, no. I mean, if I, if I disobey the criminal trespass. I don't know why we're talking about that. Because oh, I want to know what the consequences will be. Yes, you would be arrested. Yes, and then what would happen? For how long? You don't know. You don't know the. I don't work for Travis County. So okay. Is it? Air, I'm just asking if it's air conditioned. Do I have to wear masks? Can I get your name, sir? Frank Barish. Fred. F sure. Frank. Sure. Uh, what's your name? Frank. Frank. Yeah. Barish. B a r i s h. Frank. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that you talked to our store manager, and she's mentioned that you're not allowed in the store. I don't know what part of Susan told me I'm allowed back. Okay, well, you're not I'm understanding. telling you now that you're, no not allowed. Allowed. you're no longer welcome. Okay, store. No, I get that. What I will share is you are welcome in our space, absolutely, unless you've been CT'd by the police. Um, and, and as long as you follow our policies, which are posted on the door and on our on our community board. Well, of course. And, Susan told me I'm allowed back. Okay, well, you're not I'm understanding. telling you now that you're, no not, you're no longer welcome. Okay, sir. No, I get that, Chief. All right, Fred. Hey, yeah, uh, you're good to go now. Like I said, and it's good for one year. Uh-huh. And then I just don't come back to this. Uh, sure. If you get an issue, you can call the store manager, I mean, the district manager. And that literally that. was the but, district manager. But you, I can't tell by this. I don't voice. really care because I think right. you know what's going on here. All right, sir. Uh -huh. I don't know if that's really the phrase for it, but I'll leave right now. Thank you. Because I'm not done with my film. Oh, no, no. Let me finish my film and then we'll do that other thing. Four days. We'll be good. You want to leave unfinished business, you know? that the district manager would tell me I could come here and then they'd tell me I can't? Don't you think that's weird? She's not here. No shit. No way of knowing, right? Bunch of shoes there. I don't want to get a assaulting a police officer charge tacked on to this bullshit. We wouldn't want that now, would we? We done? Yes, sir. You good to go. Do you have any questions for us? Is that a joke? No. Hello? Hello, this is Susan. Hi, Susan. I'm getting Hi, kicked uh, I'm getting kicked out of the store you said I could come back to. Okay, Seth. Is this this is Seth, right? Seth, oh, I apologize. I Well, it was two days ago that you said you'd talk to the, the manager. Right, I know, and I did find out that you've been banned from the property, so that's not what you told me. I, I don't know what that means. The, the property has had banned you, the, the, the entire shopping center. 
And I was, ma I was unaware of that, which is probably why I didn't tell you. Okay. So you will need to speak to the security because they're the ones who banned you. Security banned me? And they didn't tell me? And you didn't tell me? That's what's weird. You didn't, you didn't bother to get back to me and let me know that I couldn't come back? Hello? Hi, Seth. So you, you'll need to speak to the security there. But why didn't you I let me know that, that I you telling me that... I was not aware of that. I was not aware of that. When did you become aware of it, Susan? Seth, I'm not going to have this conversation with you. I'm at church. I don't care where you are, Susan. I want to know why you didn't tell me that you've now rescinded the I'm order. I'm not going to answer that, Seth. And at this point, this has become a very unrespectful conversation. It sure has. It, that, so, that we agree on. Yes. Okay. Well, I, I, I know the manager's on their way, so you can speak to them as well. Great. And, and we'll go from there, all right? Fantastic. All right, thank you. Okay.